Good afternoon. Welcome back to Pouring Through Life by Shannon Pritchard. So I'm going to do a quick little fun pour. It's just a little round board. It's probably six inches. It's tiny. Thought I'd be a cute little clock. I don't know yet though. So my fun colors that I'm going to do today are possibly, I haven't decided 100%, Color Art Copper Penny. I've never used this one in any pores yet. It's a real pretty copper color. Then I have Poppy. It's a Poppy Red. Yeah, Poppy Red. My favorite, Venetian Red. Then I have Sunflower. This one I think is, yeah, Blingit Gold Diamond. Then I have Blingit Gold Sparkle and Bling it interference red. So one of the things I've been playing with lately is how I put the colors down and what order I put them in. Uh, so when you blow down into the puddle of color to create your lacing patterns, it makes fun changes. Cause you can only do blooms for so long before and no longer is challenging or fun. So, with that being said, we're gonna do some Blingit Gold Sparkle. Okay, this is Interference Red. Golden Diamond. So my question is, do I do the red, the copper, which order should I do them in? Poppy by itself is a magical color, and we'll go this yellow sunflower. Some copper pen. Oh wait, wait, I heard yellow and gold together is pretty cool. So let's just put a little bit of gold on that yellow. And let's put some copper penny down. bit more interference red but I'm gonna rotate because my table is not level. Just a little bit more interference red. I'm gonna use my little blower today. I don't use it very often but it works good on little projects this size. A little bit more gold sparkle. red which is one of the best colors ever created it is so magical such a cool color okay. okay so I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking maybe on top doing a little bit of the copper penny like the center of the flower would be, you know, the bright color. Sorry. More interference. And a little bit more golden diamond. them because I want the petals to have every color mount through it. You don't need to do this many layers. I just personally like that effect that it creates. 
because each petal will have that little bit of the each color in it and I like that effect. I love how the interference colors work together and create more sparkle. And we'll finish it with the poppy red. Okay, so here's to nothing. So what I'm gonna do is, I really like to layer my cell activators. I think it adds another dimension of, you know, uniqueness to each painting. So what I do, and it works for me personally, what I like to do is I'll put the light, if my top color is a dark color, I will put a light cell activator. If it's a dark a light color, I'll put a dark cell activator top with a light cell activator. Um, and it works really neat and adds a little bit of extra dimension to your project. Just pop in a few bubbles. A couple of these colors I just mixed up or I hadn't used them in a while, so they needed a good mix in. Okay, so we're gonna start with white cell activator, which is the Amsterdam white. Titanium white with Australian Floetrol. I do a three to one ratio. You wanna look for the halo. Instant halo means it's mixed right. If you don't get a halo, your paint is too thick. All right, so halo on both colors, that's good. So, just like you would be blowing with your mouth, but only with a machine. So you're gonna start, just kind of create a little bit of mixture and then blow your petals out. can see that I didn't blow through here very well. So now I'm gonna do that with my mouth. seeing the cell activator react. It's really neat. Just trying to create some more interest in the center. want to see what it does. I don't know if I like it. I know I'm my own worst critic. I'm well aware of that. spin it out and see what happens. If I don't like it, no loss. Can just, it's only a little bit of paint. Okay. So I was going to tilt, but it's okay. So get some of that paint that's filled. This is why I don't really use that little blower very often because I never overly happy with the result. 
you back in camera here. There we go. All right. Let's move that out of the way. Just trying to see if anything else is going to show up to play. I do like that I can see each color, but it's still not exactly what I was hoping for. happened <laughs> oh I have such great luck sometimes can't even tell it happened though so that's good I guess Unfortunately, I don't like it. Where's my little one? Where's my cute little blow dryer at? There she is. I call her Beverly. <laughs> Actually, I'm kidding. I don't have a name for her. I've been trying to come up with a cute little name for her because she's my favorite blow dryer. But honestly, I just don't name my tools. Um, I don't know. I'm not happy with this. Okay. Alright, she's on and working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape off all this paint that spilled over because I don't want it spraying everywhere. I'm just gonna put it right below. It's just easier not to have the mess. And I didn't put anything on here to keep this from blowing around either. That just stays put sometimes. All right. Just see if I can get anything else to appear before I start over. So I don't like it. So we are going to start over. But this is the process. This is how you learn and you modify your technique and you find colors that you like or don't like. In my case, I just didn't like how I blew it out. The colors are great. So we're just gonna start over. I'm gonna start with the copper penny. Never used it before today. I just didn't, I didn't blow it right, Adam. That's why I'm starting over. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sunflower. Golden diamond. red okay, that's funny. Another gold sparkle and move it that way make sure you're still in frame yes you are and I'm still recording all right, so Venetian rose, or yeah, Venetian red, sorry. It's my favorite, it's such a gorgeous color. This one and the wine and roses are awesome colors. Maybe I should add the wine and roses to it. Interference red again. 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of sunflower, a little bit of copper penny, a little bit of gold. Just changing the color profile around. Poppy. Sophia, don't talk like that, please. Sparkle. Interference red again. And Venetian red. So, move these around so I don't spill them. Do the same cell activator, white, and then black on top. And the other reason I do this is because if you blow it right, you get black cells with white lacing. Okay. All right. So I'll get my cutie. the difference it's hugely it's just so much better of a machine it just works so much better I'm not sure that the copper well no the copper is in it Ooh, this is gonna be cool looking really cool I'm digging this Sometimes things fail because you make something better. Just waiting for the center to flatten itself back out. I don't like to rush it. Every time you rush it is when you have issues. That is amazing. Seriously, amazing. And now that I've seen it, on a small scale, I have to do it on something bigger because that is really pretty. I will need to mix up some more of the Venetian red because I'm almost out of that. And that is going to be an amazing finished product. I don't know how many people have you, how many of you guys watch my videos? I know I don't have a lot of followers, but how many of you that have used the Color Up products, they come in little jars, which are awesome, nice sealing jars. You don't have to put very much of the product. I use, this is a three ounce container. I use one scoop of the powder for a three ounce container. One about that size scoop. Hopefully you saw that. I always mix before I run out. So that way when you go to mix it, there's still some left in it. And you can dissolve it before you add your pouring medium in. So you have, it dissolves really quickly. chunks and then you add your pouring medium in so I keep my pouring medium in little four ounce bottles so I have it ready I, I pour like a gallon of pouring medium and then I put fill up these little bottles they have five or six of them that I keep the pouring medium in so whenever I need to mix up a color it's simple and I can mix it up I'm almost ready to spin. And I got my paint ready. So you have to look out for this next one. If you like this little guy, you're gonna love the big one. Always do a test pour.
before I pour out a large painting, always. It's very few times do I just go for a big one without testing my colors first. I like it. Okay, so that is ready to go. I'm gonna go this way first. And be a little bit gentler than I did on the last one. to see if I feel the paint splatter me. How pretty. I'm worried there's a clump <clears throat> right there in the center. I just want to see something. Nope. It's just the paint or the wood. Okay, so I'm lift this up for a second and I'm gonna scrape off the loose paint. So pretty so incredibly pretty okay so it's definitely a clump right here I don't see anything else though maybe right there it's so frustrating to get clumpies in your paint it messes with your end result but if you get it if you lift it up and you get the light just right you can see <laughs> what is on there the interference color coming down the side I still want to spin a little bit more but I kind of want to collect those and put them on a silicone sheet because I hate wasting when it's that pretty. So I keep little shreds of silicone sheets right around to catch my grips. If I remember where I put them. Oh, Lord. Whenever I need something I can't find it, it's really irritating. Okay, hold on a second. one and I had it all ready for this exact project. I can't remember where I put it. Adam, have you seen any of my little blue silicone mats laying around anywhere? I don't know where I put it. What a shame. Okay. find something I just saw it yesterday and now I can't find it. <sighs> Irritating. And when I just pulled it out for this exact thing, oh well, I will undoubtedly have more paint that I can throw the stuff on. But sure is a bummer to waste. So... do let's all go and then I'll set this aside to dry see pretty put it right there for now this back on here. I just want to spin it one more time and then it'll be done. My lacing isn't super thick. It's really, you know, 
it's there, but it's not all you see in the picture. It's one of the things I like about using the double cell activator, because you get both the light and the dark aspects. But wow, that copper penny is awesome. I have never used that one. Okay, let me wipe my hands off and I'll take you in for a close up. intended on this being a quick <laughs> quick video but that doesn't always happen in my world okay but you see that sparkly orange color that is copper penny and when this dries it's gonna be magnificent and then when the resin goes on it it's gonna be even better <clears throat> Super pretty. Oh, my camera seems dark today. All right, you guys, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will list in the description the colors I used for the pour, my contact information, my Facebook group called Pouring Through Life, and I'd love to, to hear what you think and see you participate in my group. All right, you guys, we'll see you on the next pour. Bye for now.